Now, of course, there is some rebellions over there in Antioch. Is it even Antioch? Anatolia, I'm sorry. We could, could go to war with him. But we need to regenerate our troops. Now oh, we're slowly getting older now. This small this late in the game really really means nothing good nothing good whatsoever going to marry us anyone halfway decent he's got a good amount of ow that hurts There's someone who's halfway okay. We could go with our kinsman. At least we don't lose all that much prestige over it. These uprisings are really getting on my nerves. I only have 4,000 troops. There's just so much war here. So much, so much war and strife. I don't even get enough troops. I have to hire mercenaries again. Luckily, for some reason, we do fairly well money-wise. If only our own mercenary band wasn't constantly out on mission, then we could potentially get some cheaper mercenaries in this. So let's plan how we attack Edessa. Um, only one is here. Let's come in without a penalty. Yes, walk like that. That's immediately the right decision. And these like that in after. Let's put the organizer in charge here so they move a bit quicker okay we have become the new megalo scheme so we are now the leader of the community of saint anthony which gives us what oh we can convert an, an entire county that's not bad. Let's check this out. How does that work? Bird County. 1000 devotion. And it gives local revoked risk. So it's not actually good. Cool. But we can check out our air. And teach him a virtue. And let's go teach him another virtue while we still have enough. Ah. How long does that work? There's no time sensitive modifier for it. So, as far as I'm aware. We can teach a virtue only once to a person. Teach another virtue to another son of ours. Our son has the flu.
Look at that. Right. What's the reward to this? Oh, God. <laughs> Terrible. You convert and you suppress. I mean, we have a reward to risk at home as well. Which is all pretty suboptimal. Build another castle town, we need more income. To stem the unending tide of revolts and wars and just everything. This is a cruel place to live currently. Why did we inherit some barony? I don't I don't inherit some barony. I mean apparently we can even hold it. We're allowed to hold it, so we will hold it because it gives us money. Let's do that. We can live with the negative modifiers on thoughts on us. Does not matter. When can we change again? We can change in two years, and we should. Working our way up to the full status of women. House tolerance. Yeah, working towards it as well. More than halfway there. All very good, all very nice. Only one person hating us. But that's because he is of the wrong religion. My courtier. Ah! Look who's back for a proper alliance. Our dear cousin. You're defending against this man who has... Nothing on you. Fine, let's go into an alliance with Egypt. Good spy master arrived at our court. Do we have anyone in that position that... Yeah, our son. Our heir, even. Keep him there. It's two boys so far. No, one girl. And one boy. Boy has a lisp, though. Let's shop around a little bit for um, allies here, shall we? Who could we go to for alliances? Maybe we should go for some dukes in the Holy Roman Empire. Those are a little bit more stable. Check. Ah, uh, do we get... This... What? Where are my grandsons? Not allowed to do anything like that. Shame. Our daughter was murdered, so we have no more non aggression pact with them. So we could declare a war on him. And do a border dispute, which costs us money again. Or we could try and get tribute out of them, which also means we would have to go and defend them if they were attacked, which this climate and geographic location is somewhat to be expected.
You're part of what? Emirate. Where's the Emirate of Cairo? Down here. Oh? How strong are you? Stronger than us. All right, let's check what we need. We need eight more years and then we can start becoming a vassal of someone. <laughs> or we can start converting to Islam, something like it. Until then, we will just try and recover and wait. As is tradition. How much money are we making? Not a whole lot. Okay, they are done with their war. Looks like... Hey, want something of mine? I don't have anything anymore to give. My granddaughter. I can give her to the King of Anatolia. Which would give us another non aggression pact, which is better than nothing. At least one threat less. Okay. So they are betrothed, but that doesn't mean non-aggression. What? Ah, it gives a non-aggression between my heir and him, not us. Too far removed. That's the point here. The issue. How many troops do we get out of here? Quite a few. So let's uh, upgrade the keep once more. Even further increase how many troops we can gather from here. People die. This world is a harsh, harsh place. How's the revolt rest looking? Just here, so all of you go there. Try your best. Oh wow, we have a truce expiring against someone who's way stronger than us. I am fearful for those uh, seven more years of independence. Could we even swear fealty to? No one, because we're just surrounded by Muslims. in the bloodline why 
you not have a wife? Let's see if we have something halfway suitable for you. We continue giving you heirs. Uh, let's do her. I just kind of want to be... In a spot. Where I can safely start working on improving our relationship with Mongols. Which would be totally awesome. But we're not really. In a position to do so. Strife and warfare. Also should probably dissolve our mercenary band. It's not doing it. It's any good. Or do we gain money from it? Yeah, we do get a little bit of money out of it. Not much though. All these look so small, but they are quite deceptively strong. Yes, let's praise him in front of court. Done well. Let's do some praying, shall we? Donate to charity, we don't really have the money. Could hold a summer fair. Let's do that. Peasants are happy. Can't really hold a feast. The month is greater or equal to November. Could search for a smith, but that will probably eat up most of what we earn. They're all monstrous, monstrously strong. Okay, some affair is done. Who is this? Johan of Parisian. I think it is time we plot his murder. Yes, he kill our child. The rest of our life will aim to try and kill him in return. Revenge. So our heir has lost his son, Camp Fever. Take our succession line. Oh, there we go. Significant status for women. Lovely. Next comes Notable. And then comes Full. Neat. Our Marshal seat is empty. Let's put someone who's capable, yeah. That sounds grand. Let the incapable cancer-ridden master of arms do his marshalling. We are a true paper tiger. 
could try and push our du jour claim on Armenia. Slowly, slowly spreading, but I have a feeling that's just going to backfire on us again. Something is going to happen if we do this. And it's not going to be good. I am in deep thought here as to what to do. Should maybe wait for the keep to be built. That should give us a good boost to how many troops we can raise still. Better commanders. All over the world. There's really no one. I think starting late game is often much harder than starting early. So now he's stronger, way stronger. Back. Our marshal just died, of course. Let's get this man to be a marshal. And... Who so calls Egypt again once more? Who do you fight? 11,000 versus how many do you field? Nothing. Like... 5,000. Alright. So let's raise everything and watch ourselves be burnt to a crisp as we do. We will sail our troops down though. I'm going to walk. Maybe we can help our cousin win something we can't manage to win anything maybe at least she will be able to accomplish something for Christianity down here in this quite godforsaken place hold out a little longer dear cousin reinforcements are heading your way Where is she going to? Where are they going to? People keep dying. Oh no. Our son is incapable. That leaves him. It is going to be primogenitor after all. All right, okay. <laughs> the young queen has had a very difficult life. A lot of very adverse things have happened. Great shame. We'll have this little battle here. 1,000 troops against us. As we travel to reinforce the queen, our dear beloved cousin. Now do something sensible with our troops. We'll leave the ships here. 
and hopes she does do something sensible. And that uh, there's no revolt at home. Speaking of which, let's check real quick. There's no revolt risk at least. So that is something. This time she can't complain. I've sent all my troops. All of them. Every last man and mouse. Another crusade for Egypt. So there might be a second Egypt soon. Could convert to Catholic. And be involved in these. Are you at least attacking or defending? You're doing what? Are you defending or attacking? Attacking. Defending, defending. Right. So now Cairo has to move back. Defend the lands from the Crusader armies. Come on. Seek battle. You can do it. My cousin has died. Wait. How's that now? Is it his son? No. Who are you? You are the son of the leader of the... What? How are you, my heir? How is it not my son, but my grandson of our second son? Son of our second son. Visible confusion is the correct reaction here. Are you just the youngest? Is that it? 12? No, you're not. That was interesting. Interesting indeed. Very odd. Massive recruitment drive here. That's good. I like it. Soon to be a battle. And our troops are somehow part of that. Kind of an accident. Occident. No accident. And there's 11,000 more coming. Ah, but we're not fighting them, apparently. We're fighting an entirely different war. At least we're part of the winning side here. Wow. Made some captives, but now we're being beaten. I have contributed 50% here. Let it be known. And I think it is time for our glorious troops to return home. After participating in that. Oh no, it's alright. If they get ground into dust, they get ground into dust. It is all to fend off the infidels. Can we even afford it? Yeah. They're so dead anyway. But this big death blob down there, this 30,000 Muslim army, probably going to give the Crusaders a bit of a headache.
There's a 17,000 death plob of crusaders. Ah, well. There are some crusading death blobs just as much as enemy death blobs. Again, no marriage ties. Fine. We go home. Done with this. We did our part. You're on your own, cousin. We need our troops home. Bring our troops home. <laughs>